I'm Katie. And I'm Josh. And this is Fly TV! Hey, did you know you don't need clouds for rain? What? <laughs> April Fools! That's not what April Fools is about. Now what is April Fools about? Maybe Varsha and Angela will know. Hey, it's Angela and Varsha, and today we're gonna have a special April Fools treat. We're gonna be pranking some students and Miss Via Gomez. Let's have some fun. Yes, I've been pranked by April Fools by teachers. Yeah. No. Yes. Yeah. No. No. And no, I, no, I can't pull up rings. Okay. I tried. <laughs> okay. Yes. Um, how often do you recycle? Every day. Okay, um, do you know what can and can't be recycled? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, do you guys ever recycle? Yeah. Yes. Okay, um, have you ever told you guys to work? <laughs> um, do you know what can and can't be recycled? Or how often do you recycle? Uh, every Friday. No! <laughs> um, how often do you guys recycle? Oh, like never. Never. Okay. Um, do you guys know what can and can't be recycled? No! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, foul Falcons, but that was lots of fun. Yeah. Happy late April Fool's Day. Back, Back to you, Katie and Josh. and Josh. Now do you know what April Fool's is? Um, still no. Who cares? I was never one of this ones. But here's some kids that do. Hey, Arcia. Hey, Nick. Did you know that our Fowler Pentathlon team won nationals last year? Yeah, I was in the team last year. Oh, cool. Let's go see how the Fowler Pentathlon team is doing this year. Um, because it looks good academically. <laughs> um, it's a great experience. Oh, it's like a really cool organization where you can go to the contest and. I don't know, I thought it would be really fun and I thought I would do pretty well. Uh, I thought it would be a fun way to express my knowledge and go to competition. And I saw the march last year where the winners, they walked around the school and I thought that was really cool. Um, because I wanted to do extracurriculars and like learn more stuff. I was in it last year. Um, yeah, I also was in it last year and it was fun. Yeah, I also like science and I kind of like literature. I really enjoy the social science even though everyone thinks it's really boring, along with the fine arts, which is basically the same thing. Uh, I hate those two sections. Uh, I enjoy the science section. I like the food. Yeah, they give, they give like, candy and candies each and each week. It's also nice to learn about things that I didn't know before. Uh, it's great to socialize with your friends. Wow, it was so cool to learn about the Fowler Pentathlon team. Congratulations, Fowler Pentathlon, and good luck for your competition. Back, Back to you, Josh and Katie. Katie. 
Yeah, they're really smart. Yeah, do you want to learn even more? No. Too bad, let's learn about the history of Fowler. Draw my Fowler! Pat and Catherine Fowler Middle School opened its doors to the public in 2007. Since opening, Fowler has excelled at academics, fine arts, and athletics. Our namesakes, the Fowlers, dedicated so much of their time to improving education for fiscal schools. Catherine Fowler served for more than 10 years on the Frisco Education Foundation Board and helped raise lots of money for Frisco schools. Since opening, our fine arts program has won many awards. Our band and orchestra program worked together to win state for full orchestra in 2012. Just last year, our jazz program won state. Every year, symphonic band and a fan symphonic orchestra has gotten superior ratings in every UIL competition. Theater won first place in the district UIL competition for their performance of Triangle just this year. Our athletic program has excelled as well. The 2018-2019 Volleyball A team got third place in district. In 2009, 2012, and 2013, our tennis team were district champions. And in 2012, 2013, and 2015, our tennis team were the East Side champions. 8th grade boys basketball won first place in district tournaments in 2007 and 2010. 7th grade got first in 2010. Girls basketball, baseball, soccer, and track have won countless awards as well. The list goes on and on as our athletic program continues to win and win. Fowler's academic programs also excel. The 2017-2018 pentathlon team won regional, state, and nationals for the first time in Frisco history. The math and science team also wins many awards and our students place highly every year. Fowler's everyday academic classes are also well structured and prepared by our wonderful teachers. That's all for today, Falcons. Back to you, Josh and Katie. That was actually kind of interesting. Yeah, you know what else is interesting? What? The club at Fowler. Can we go check them out? Not really. Too bad. Let's go. Alright, so our club is called the Fowler Society of Egalitarians and my friend and I came up with the idea for this club because we felt that there are so many um, issues going on in the real world that um, are important and debatable. I saw that there weren't that many girls who are interested in things like STEM and so I thought, you know, why not make a club? NJHS members, we help out Fowler with some of its many events and also like we like I said, we are leaders to the school so people know when to follow us, how to follow us and kind of know how to respect others. Um, anyone who participates in this club will be able to debate on stuff that they think is important and I think this is a really good experience um, for our members because um, we're, this allows us to ponder upon um, what's going on in the real world and I just think it's a really good experience. Hopefully uh, by encouraging girls to go into STEM it would make the gender gap less because as of now there are a lot fewer girls in STEM fields than girls. So uh, Fowler students can grab the opportunity of like learning more about Hispanic culture and using it in the real world um, and they can be more aware of different cultures throughout the world other than just like their own they can learn about many others too. We do service projects where we can help out our community and help out others and also we kind of serve as demonstration throughout the school so people can serve, follow us as leaders and know how to respect others and be nice to each other in our community. I guess it would let girls have a like girls who want to explore STEM. It'll let them have a you know safe and fun environment to do that, and yeah, just positively impact the school. Back to you, Josh and Katie. That's, That's all for today, Falcons. Falcons. See you next time.